Christ. I'd like you to be seated for our children's message. Good morning, boys and girls. I would invite you to come and have a seat over here a little closer for a time that's specially for you. I'm glad to see so many kids here today and also welcoming those who join us online. Come on up, come on over. I've got some things to set up here too while you guys get situated. All right. Clyde's coming up today. Well, we just heard the gospel read by Pastor Rob, and that's what we focus on here today as we're doing these really neat kids sermons this season, taking one of the chrismans from our Christmas tree and using it to highlight what we hear and what we learn about Jesus each week in Epiphany. And so today when we heard the gospel, we heard a lot about this. We heard about some people. Any guesses what I'm drawing here? I sure hope you know. Go ahead and say. A fish. Woo, good. Yeah, so we have this story today about fishermen. And they are using fishing nets, and they're busy catching fish when they meet Jesus. And he calls them to follow him. Well, the fish is a very special symbol that's been used for a long time for people who follow Jesus. And actually, it's because of a really neat thing about this word fish, at least in the Greek language and in the old Greek language that they would have used at that time of Jesus. So what I'm going to do is write for you the word fish in Greek, and then we're going to see what a cool thing happens here. The first letter for the word fish in old ancient Greek looks like this. Then the next letter looks like an X. The next letter kind of looks like an O, but it has a little line in it. And then we have a letter that looks like a Y to us, and then a letter that can look like a C. Now when you see these letters, even though they're Greek letters, we might recognize these first two letters because they're the letters that were on the chrisman last week. The ones that look like the I and the X are the first two letters of Jesus and Christ. So even though together these letters spell the word fish in Old Greek, they have a secret message in them for those who follow Jesus. Jesus, Christ, this is the first letter for God in Greek. This is the first letter for Son in Greek. And this is the first letter for Savior in Greek. So when you see a fish like this, it actually has a special message inside of it. And this was really important for Christians when it was dangerous to be one or scary to be one. They could use a fish as a secret symbol to say, I, just like the disciples, Peter and Andrew and James and John, I follow Jesus Christ, God's Son, the Savior. So, any guesses what our chrisman might be today? Because I kind of already drew it for you. Yeah, you think it's the fish. Very good. So here's the fish, bless you. Here's the fish that's on the chrisman. And so you see the fish, but you also see those special letters telling who Jesus is. So I'm going to put this here on our epiphany pole, where each week of this special season we're gathering these chrismans to help us know more about who Jesus is, the Christ, God's Son, and Savior. Now, before you go back to your seats, I will give you your own little lacing card that what you can do with it is take it home, collect it, color it, post it someplace, help you remember what it means, and it has a string for you so that you can do a little lacing, a little handiwork, just like all those were done by hands too. So before you come up for these and before you come up for your kids bulletins, which are also about fish, let's say a prayer. So in congregation, you can join in with me, please. Repeat after me. Thank you, Lord, for your holy name. Help us follow you. Amen.
Okay, something for each hand today. The kids' bulletin and your lace.